I want to talk about Nigerian churches today. Competition in Nigerian churches. Yeah, I'm going to a Nigerian church now. That's why I'm dressed like this. So you guys know that I go to Celestial Church of Christ. So we usually don't have dressing wear white. But today I'm going to a family friend's church because they are doing a baby dedication and they waited over 20 years before God blessed them with the fruit of the womb. So I'm going to that family uh, friend's church for the baby dedication in a Pentecostal church. I'm not going to call the name. Anyway, what I've observed since I came to Nigeria, guys. <laughs> Oju bitirito, my ears have seen, my ears have heard. <laughs> eh, the competition in Nigerian churches. Now, the thing that you guys need to understand is that Nigeria is a very religious country. Like, it's a religious country. It's so religious that since I came, eh, it's like, it's like, it's a sin or it's like one big offense to say you don't go to church on sunday eh how can you not go to church on sunday everybody goes to church religiously every sunday which is not a bad thing it's good to serve god we in the diaspora i, I would say 100 percent that we don't we don't we don't even go to church nearly half as much as people worship here nigerians worship ah nigerians worship it's not a bad thing though if it was reflecting in the character of the people that live here then it would have been good does it reflect in the behavior of people that live here? Nah, 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 nah. Zero percent. It does not reflect. There is so much competition in Nigerian churches. It's unbelievable. So I'm beginning to wonder, hey, all these people that wake up 5 a.m., 6 a.m., they want to go to church. Do they go to worship God or they just go? Is it like a social gathering where you just go to do competition and show off your latest uh, clothes? You see now? Me too. I have this big... <laughs> I have this big thing in my head today now. Can you imagine me wearing this in the UK? I, I don't even have one. I don't even have one. But when I go here, I see that my friends have different colors. Like every outfit you have, you have one to match. Every outfit you have, you have one to match. Like the way they prepare to go to church, I'm wondering. Eh? The competition in Nigerian churches makes me feel like people just go to church. Not because they want to serve God or they want to worship God. They go to church because they want to impress their neighbors. That's why, especially women. This thing is me, women, or not men, no. Because as you guys know, men don't have time for things like except some few men that petty behave like women. On, on the whole, men are usually very, you know, they are just, they just be themselves. You know, they are, men don't have time for all those. But women, women, Nigerian women. Jesus. Let me give you a typical example. I went to a church in, La in Lagos with my friend, Obiageli. She dragged me to her church. And it's a big church, massive church. And you could see that everybody is looking at everybody. Everybody is looking at everybody the way they will be looking at you. Me, that I'm cuckoo, a stranger. And that time, <laughs> she even gave me one uh, skirt. Uh, what's it called? I wanted to just wear my. I can wear this and t shirt. What's my own? I don't have time. But she said, Oh, Bridget, we are wearing gold today. I said, Hey, I don't have gold. She said, You don't have gold. I said, I don't have gold, though. Where am I going to see gold from? <laughs> I don't see gold from. <laughs> she said, okay, Bridget, come, come and take gold. Before you know, bam, she carried gold and gave me. I should wear. She has her own gold that she's already wearing. I'm telling you, before I even got from Lagos to, uh, from Abuja to Lagos, I'm like, already arranged gold down for me that way. She said, this Sunday is gold that we are wearing. I said, hey. And if you see as the cloth was scratching me in my body, because I'm not used to wearing all these laces. I'm not used to wearing them. I'm not a traditional person. I only wear it occasionally in the UK when we're going to parties, and, you know, weddings and things like that. So, 
That's how I walk go do, and I follow, follow, went to church. Oh. Hey! The competition starts from car, the kind of car that you drive. If you buy a new car, everybody's looking. And in the next few weeks, that person that is in competition with you want to buy another one that is bigger than your own, or replace their own, or anything to show you that they too, they are bigger than you. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know how people can be so competitive like this, though. Anyway, so I was hearing just that uh, in this church, in that church, that... um. This woman, because another woman did a party in the church and brought canopy and everything and, you know, people sat down because she was celebrating the goodness of God in her life or something. Maybe they built a house or something. Before you know it, eh, this other woman eh, has gone to send invitation to people that she's doing house, eh, she's doing eh, she's doing Thanksgiving. When I, saw the, the, <laughs> when I saw the invitation, I was like, Thanksgiving for what he said, uh, they are doing house warming for the house they built in the village. I, I hear that this is not even a new house, it's a house they built ages ago. They just went and repainted it just to show that proud person that they're doing Thanksgiving. That we too, ah, you think it's only you, we too, God has blessed us. So they went and repainted it and said, and did assure you that's the worst. That is, I've never heard in my life before that you are doing whether you build the house in Lagos, you build the house in Abuja, or you just recently built a house that you are even doing housewarming that you will take Ashoy B. I couldn't get over that. She took Ashoy B 25,000 naira for lace for housewarming for the house that she and her husband built in their village in somewhere in the east. I was like, wow, wow. And people bought, come and see them. That day they bought, they wore the cloth and everything. They brought canopy. They cook food. They brought drinks. They started taking pictures. Ah, and you should see the wife, uh, the celebrant the, that the, she's uh, saying the husband built out. She wore one gang gang cloth that day. You can see that she's been packaging for that day. Tied gaily, did makeup, did everything. I said, oh, this wahala for waiting. Why are people stressing themselves? Ah, Nigerians, when I get time, oh, when I really get time, because we that living, that's where I don't have time for all this, though. Mm -mm. Don't have time. Everybody is busy making a living, trying to survive. Nobody's got time that you build a house in the village. You come and do party in Lagos and do a show. be of 25,000. People will buy. And all of you will now wear it and take picture and put on Facebook. What are you celebrating that you built a house in the village? If you built a house in the village, must anybody even know? Why do you even have to announce it that you built a house in the village? Eh? Except you are a vlogger that you are doing a house tour. I don't see any reason why you should build a house without being a social media person who is creating content from, you know, their day-to-day -day life. You go and take a picture and put on, on, on social media. Why? If you see party, eh? I was looking like this. So my question is that, do they go to church to learn from God, to learn from, you know, the teaching and the ways of God? Or people just go to church here to socialize, to show people that, okay, I've arrived. I have this now. This is my latest car. This is my latest rapper. I bought this lace, 80,000, 100,000, 150,000. Is this what it's about going to church in Nigeria? Because the competition, eh? Oh my God, me, I cannot relate to. And I thank God I go to Sele. Because you see that my Sele, I love it, JJJ, yeah, yeah, because everybody, uniform. We all wear uniform. So, if you like, be a millionaire, be uh, uh, Danko, Dangote's wife. It's that same white you will wear. In fact, if you don't wear the white, they will not allow you into the church. You will sit outside. So, I don't understand. No wonder that the behavior. As religious as Nigeria is, the behavior of the average Nigeria does not reflect, you know, the teachings of Jesus Christ. You see all the pews on Sunday are filled to the brim. They are first service, second service, third service, fourth service in some churches. But go out there and see the behavior. As they are coming out from the church, eh, hey, it started already. The rivalry, envy, jealousy has started right at the doorstep of the church. So which kind of church you know they go? Why are you deceiving yourself, Bikun? Why are you deceiving yourself? If you don't go to church service, even better, as far as I'm concerned. If you don't go to church, it's even better because <laughs> in, in, in other parts of the world, in the diaspora, where some people don't go to church, eh? they are kinder. They have kindness in their hearts. You know, they have love in their hearts. They have consideration for other people. They have patience. They deal with other people like you. you they deal with other people in a very respectful way. But here, hey, people, the competition that people do here is just too much. I can't deal with it. I cannot. I just cannot. It's not my life and it can never be. Thank God. I am just not part of this society and I don't admire it. So, so this is what my eye has seen, no? In Nigerian churches, so, uh, it is, it is uh, it's something else. May God help you, you guys. When you go to church, learn about the ways of God and what God 
is teaching you, what Jesus Christ is teaching you, not about dressing and showing up. Competition shouldn't even be, be heard in the house of God, but it's sad that happens. But this is the way of the world. This is the way of Africans, especially Nigerians. Our show off is too much. Our envy, jealous. Oh, no, 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 it's too much. It's just too much. Anyway, what do you guys have to say? Have you experienced this? In, in African churches in the diaspora, I know it's rife as well. But because Nigeria is such, churches everywhere, every corner. If you go out now, as you are going out now, hey, if I can count the number of churches today, mega churches in Abuja, go and see churches everywhere. Yet, it does not reflect in character. People come out and they behave like mad people. This way, though. May God help, may God help Nigeria. May God bless Nigeria. I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.